Hello everyone, my name is Mridhu Larpedi. Uh, today I will be covering the topic types of search trees from advanced data structures. So in yesterday's lecture we have already covered about indexing and today we are going to cover what is multi-way search tree and what is B tree in detail. But types of search trees are many more like B plus tree, tri tree, splay tree, red black tree, k dimensional tree and AA tree out of which today we are going to focus on B tree. Okay, So BST that is binary search tree and AVL that is height balance tree. We have already studied both of this right. So even we have solved the examples of OBST. All three mentioned trees are very important considering the SPPU exams. It is having max weightage for problem solving based on BST, AVL, OBST. And today we are going to see B tree. Okay. So BST, AVL, OBST, these are binary trees with out degree 2. Okay. So what do you mean by out degree? I think you are aware of it if this is node and this is another children connecting to the root and this is another children connected to the root then this is a node is having out degree 2 right this is 1 and this is 2 ok so BST, AVL, OBST these are the binary trees with the out degree 2 hmm. then for the large data these trees grow to a great height like when there is a great height there is a problem right so to avoid this problem we retain the properties of BST but we increase the outgoing degree more than 2 ok so the multi way the multi word is because of it will be the BST but it will have out degree more than 2 so out degree more than 2 means what? Here we can have one more children or one more children. Okay. So, there are uh, many applications of this multi-way trees like uh, dictionary, a spell checker or uh, we can store the external file indices etc. So, M-way trees. So, we are going to see M-way trees. M-way trees can have m children it is also known as multi-way tree of order m okay now let's observe the diagram on the screen k is key and you can observe there are more than one key in single node like uh, this is one key this is two key and this is three key so what does it mean that more than one keys in a single node now don't forget the BST rule. What is our BST rule? According to which the keys which are ha which are less than K1 that should be on left side. So is it same? See the keys which are less than K1 are on the left side. Right? And so on. Now let's check the example of M way tree. Okay. So there they have drawn four way tree hmm? this four way tree will be made up of m minus one key fields m minus one key fields means four is our order so four minus one will be three so one two three so your one node can have three key fields okay and four way that four means this can have four children. One, two, three, four. Getting? You will get more clear idea when we will check the example of B tree. So, let us just go ahead and check the properties of M way tree. So, these are the properties of M way tree. Uh, each node has 0 to M subtrees. A node with K less than M subtrees contains k minus 1 keys the key values of the first subtree are all less than the key value 
the data entries are ordered and all the subtrees will be your m way trees okay so these are the properties of m way trees you read each property and just go to previous slide and just check into this example you will get to know okay now let's uh, Mm, focus on B tree, but basically this M way trees are appropriate for external searching. Like appropriate means it takes minimum number of disk access for searching. So M way tree is basically appropriate for external searching in minimum time. Okay, so now let's focus on B tree. Okay, this is the uh, important concept. So B tree is having first property that is it is a balanced multi-way tree okay the second exam second property of the b tree is it is a generalization of bst okay uh, let's just revise bst bst's first point is it it can have at most two children what do you mean by at most two children it can have zero children it can have one children it can have two children right the next property of bst which we are revising is every node can have only one key okay now suppose let's take example we have the keys like 10 20 5 and 15 how we draw 10 will be our root 20 will be our uh, 20 will be on right side as it is a bst then 5 will be on left side and 15 will be here right is it clearly visible it is 5 huh? ok I will just write here oh ok I will draw, draw it again the 10 is our root the 5 will be on left side the 20 will be on right side and 15 will be left of 20 right ok so can you observe this is one node and this node is having only single key this is another node it is having only single key as 20 this is another node which is only having single key as 5 so every node is having only one key right so this is our second property of BST and the third property of BST is leaf nodes can be at different levels. Okay, so okay, so which are the leaves of uh, in this diagram? Five and fifteen, right? These two are leaves, and they are at different level, right? Okay, now let's go to properties of B tree now. Okay, so B tree can have more than two children. Okay, so more than two children means what? More than two children mean two, means what? A node can have number of children, more than two, right? Second property of B tree is what? Can have more than one key in node, right? So if I take 10 as root, I can have 15 as root 2. Okay, we can draw such diagram like we have seen already in M way tree. Okay, so one node can have more than one key. Okay, and the third property the leaf node should be at same level, should be at same level. In BST, it was at different levels right do you remember the concept of level okay if this is a root okay if this is a tree then this is one level this is second this is third so these are different different levels right okay let's move on the one more property of B tree is you can observe whatever return in blue. Okay. If 
B tree is having m order. Okay, then every node has max m children. Okay, max m children means what? If um, if uh, so let's take example as uh, m is three. Okay, if m is three, then a m v tree can have maximum three children. Okay, here we write key. Okay, so can you observe if m is equal to three, then key will be m minus one. Can you observe this thing? Right. Okay. One more property is for root minimum children can be two. Okay, and for internal nodes, minimum children can be m divided by two. Okay, so these are the properties of B tree. Okay, we were talking about m that is only children. Now what about keys of B tree? So let's check the property related to keys. Okay, so here is the first property in blue that is every node has max m minus one keys. Correct? We have already seen it. Once again, we can check if children are five. That is, m is equal to if five. Okay, then keys keys how many keys will be there? M minus one. That is, four keys will be there. Right? So how we can draw? Likewise, this is K one, K two, K three, K four. Right? So this will be the keys, and it can have m is equal to five. That is, childrens can be five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Getting? Okay. And the minimum one more last. Uh, B tree property is minimum keys can have which keys except the root node that can have minimum keys as m divided by two minus one keys. Okay, so these are the properties, and the last point is any kind of insertions in the B tree, any kind of insertions in the B tree will be only in leaf nodes. Getting this point, insertions for B tree will be accepted, but only through leaf nodes. Okay. Uh, one more last point. Uh, you can consider ceiling properties for m minus m divided by two answer. So what is ceiling property? Do you remember the concept of ceil and floor function? If not, let's revise once again. Suppose m is equal to five. Then m divided by two means five divided by two will be two point five, right? So if I'm saying it's two point five, then when I'm saying answer is two point five, sorry, if I decide answer is two point five, okay? Then if I apply seal function to it, seal means Upward, so answer will be three. And if I apply floor function to two point five, then answer will be two. Getting? Okay. So this was the part related to floor and seal, and this all was related to B tree properties. There are many properties of B tree. You can listen to this video twice so that you will be clear. About the properties of B tree. Now, let's go directly to the example. See what the what it is written. Create B tree of order three by inserting values from one to ten. Now, see clearly input given is order three, right? So order may be three or four or five in SPPU exam. It can be of any order. Like you have to create the B tree using order three or order four or order five. Okay, here in this example, order three is considered. 
and you have to input the values from 1 to 10 okay so check out step 1 what is step 1 order given means m given right so m is what 3 so what will be the maximum key we have already seen the properties that if m is equal to 3 that means maximum children will be 3 right so if maximum children will be 3 then maximum key will be m minus 1 that is 2 correct so clear about step 1 now focus on step 2 you can take pen and paper in front of you so that you can solve it with me so that it will be more clear right so let's move to step 2 okay that values will always be in sorted order so no need to worry about it so when we are inserting 1 and when we are inserting 2 there is no problem why because maximum size is 2 maximum key size is 2 so we have already returned 1 and 2 inserted right there is no point of overflow nothing as maximum key is 2 1 and 2 is easily inserted now we are ready to insert 3 okay but maximum key size is 2 so what is the solution solution is to split and that split will be in the middle part so if you can observe here what I am writing 1 2 and 3 okay but 3 we cannot add because it will be overflow so we are going to split it at the 2 why 2 we have to split it in the middle is the rule okay and whatever you will be splitting that should go upward like 2 and then 1 and 3 now you will ask ki why 1 is on left side and why 3 is on right side so we should not forget the rule of BST why because there is one property of B tree which we have seen in previous slides that B tree is a generalization of BST correct so whenever we will insert 3 what, ans what answer will get 2 will move upward 1 will go and go on left side and 3 will go on right side correct okay so now uh, let's focus on step number 3 okay we need to insert 4 now okay first of all remember insertion only be at leaf level you can check previous slide where we are having leaf nodes 1 and 3 present okay so the 4 can be inserted either beside 1 or 3 we cannot insert 4 beside 2 okay why because there is a rule that insertion only take place at leaf nodes okay so remember BST rule compare 4 with 2 4 is greater than 2 so come to right side when you are coming to right side you have one place remaining that is vacant which is beside 3 okay so 4 we are going to put there directly right you can observe it here correct so why because as we are having key size as 2 and we were having one vacant place so we didn't get any problem inserting 4 okay now let's focus on step 4 where we are going to insert 5 now let's start again with the first step what is first step we have to compare 5 with 2 when we compare 5 with 2 we are aware that we need to come to right side when we are coming to right side we are having 3 4 and 5 should be here right but our key size is what 2 and we are having 3 4 5 at same place whenever such situation happens we need to split it how we are going to split we are going to split it in the middle part okay whenever we are going to split we are going to move it to upward position so 4 will be upward position and then 3 will be on left side and 5 will be on right side so how we have split just check here now hmm. so 4 moved upward it moved upward why because beside 2 there is one vacant place so 2 and 4 in one node 
and 1, 3 and 5 are inserted or placed according to BST rule. Okay? Then step 5, we are going to insert 6. We compared 6 with 2 and 4. Right? So, it 6 is greater than 4. So, we moved to right side. When we are coming to right side, we are having vacant place beside 5. So, we have put 6 there. So, no problem in inserting 6. Now, at step 6, we are going to insert 7. Right? So, whenever we are going to insert 7, what we need to do is we need to split 2, 4 and 6 wala thing. Okay. So, whenever we are going to split 2, 2, 4 and 6, we need to move 4. We need to move 4 upward. So, what, how will be the tree? Just check out here. What will be the tree? 4 will be our root and rest all things like 2, 6, 1, 3, 5 and 7 will be placed according to BST rule. Correct? Whenever we are saying we have to insert 7, 5, 6 and 7 will be at one place. So, we are having only 2 as a key. So, 6 we need to move upward. Right? Whenever we are moving 6 upward, in upper level we are having 2 and 4. So, key is already occupied. Getting? Getting? 2 and 4 is already occupied. We are having only size 2 as a key. So, first of all we got the problem in 5, 6, 7. Correct? So, we moved 6 upward. But when we moved 6 upward, we got the problem 2, 4 and 6. So, again we need to move 4 upward. Getting? So, finally we got this tree. Now, step 7. In step 7, we are going to insert 8. We don't have any problem in inserting 8 because we have vacant place beside 2, 7. In step 8, we are going to insert 9. When we are going to insert 9, we are having problem 7, 8, 9. So, what we are going to do? We are going to put 8 upward. When we are going to put 8 upward, 6 beside places vacant. So, 8 is placed there. So, no problem. And then in step 9, we are inserting 10. So, whenever we are inserting 10, we are having vacant place next to, sorry, we are having next to 9. So, we placed 10 there. So, this is our final B tree. And this is how we have to solve the example stepwise. Okay. I hope you are clear how to solve B3. Thank you.